August 3rd, 2019, 23 people were murdered. Over the last few days, the city of El Paso has offered a series of virtual events to honor the victims, from candlelight vigils to placing orange ribbons at a local park. Several employees at the Bear County Tax Office have tested positive for COVID-19, prompting the closure of the office until at least August 16th. We're told the positive employees, except for one, were working in the downtown location and were mostly contained to the second floor of the building in the tax department. Northeast ISD says there is no set date for students to return for in-person learning. The district superintendent told KSAT that schools in the district will start or have started with virtual learning. This morning, millions of people from the deep south to New England keeping a close eye on Isaias with the storm crawling up the east coast. Despite job losses from the coronavirus and closures, it looks like Americans are not racking up huge credit card debt. Wall Street Journal says the numbers are showing just the opposite. Americans have still been paying down credit card balances, thanks in large part to federal stimulus money. Microsoft says its CEOs and talks with President Donald Trump about buying TikTok. Microsoft promises a complete security review if it takes over TikTok and vows to keep user data safe. Loretta Kent is a nurse that has spent years helping former gang members, abused women and others with permanent troubling tattoos. Her program uses a fading process with laser technology where she removes tattoos for little to nothing so people can restart their lives. Two NASA astronauts returning to Earth inside the SpaceX Dragon Endeavor, the first commercially built and operated spacecraft to carry people to and from orbit. The 19-hour journey back from the space station for astronauts Bob Behnken and Doug Hurley, fast, bumpy, and hot. The Silver and Black now have two wins in the NBA bubble in Orlando. DeMar DeRozan was fouled with one second left and DeMar was able to hit both free throws. Spurs win it 108-106. Their next game today at 7 o'clock against the Philadelphia 76ers and then they play Wednesday and Friday and Sunday.